ticket. What? Parking ticket. Parking ticket. Yeah. So I'm wait, all the equipment sitting out there for an hour waiting for that. Right, which is why um, uh, I said what I said when <laughs> when we did the sound. Mm -hmm. Is I I can't tell you how long we'll have it shut down because we're waiting on them. Yeah. The only reason why the ME and body car made it out was Center Point gave me an hour. Mm -hmm. I told the ME basically then you know. We're not going to keep all the equipment tied up much longer than center point takes to cut the power and where we can get the body out. If you're here, great. I know you need your photos, but if not, we're extracting without you because we've, we've already been out here. Well, I heard the ME, sir, or, which, or the ME, I guess, what told you the body car wasn't coming until the power lines were gone? Yeah. So I called back and said, they're saying an hour. So if you want to take pictures of the guy in the car, you better be here in an hour. If not, we're getting the guy out. We're not waiting. And I'm sure it probably pissed off the ME, uh, the one I spoke to at the office. Uh -huh. But I've already had problems with him in the past. Yeah. So that little girl they've got, where uh, what's her name? She's she's fairly new. The one that was working yeah. last night. She's fair, she's about how many? Four I months old. See, I didn't see her. Oh really? Um, we had I had John Fraley oh, okay. both times, mm -hmm. and that was my first time seeing John. John had gone back. He goes, "Why don't you give us your cell number when we ask you for a callback number?" Like, to be honest, Michael Jones called me at 10 o'clock in the morning wondering why I haven't 
call back with the ID of this guy, and it's not my job to ID the person that you take to uh, yeah. there. And that's not my job. So I was at home. I politely said, don't call me at home, and hung up on him. And he doesn't, well, I don't remember that when I talked to him later in the evening. It's like, well, you know, you may not remember it, but I remember it, and my coworkers remember it quite vividly because it took about an hour to fall asleep after that. I was so pissed. That's why I don't give out my cell phone. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I do. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. All right, now, let's get on this thing here. Let's see if we can get some light up here. Sorry it took so long, but we were trying to get, like, some of the information taken care of. Yeah, I've got other emergencies. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I was a little. Yeah. All right. Rosalie Stafford, R O S A L I E S T A F F O R D. We're at the intersection of North Point Drive and Loop 4. Nine. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Rosalie Stafford, R O S A L I E S T A F F O R D. We are at the intersection of North Park Drive and Loop 494 in Kingwood in Montgomery County. At approximately 440 this morning. A 2000 Ford Expedition was traveling southbound on Loop 494. It disregarded a red light and broadsided a 1987 Buick Grand National. The, Grand, the Ford continued on through the grass into some bushes that separate the grass embankment from the railroad tracks before coming to arrest. The white male driver that appears to be in his early 20s of the Buick was pronounced deceased here at the scene. There, the driver of the Ford Expedition was an 18-year-old white male. He and his 17-year-old passengers were transported to Bentop Hospital and... Okay, now the train's gone. Okay. okay, we have to... The driver of the Ford Expedition was a white, white male who was 18 years old. He had three passengers in his vehicle, two females and a male, ranging in ages from 16 to 17. Everyone was taken to area hospitals. Uh, two were taken to North East Memet Medical Center and two were taken to Bentop. What kind of condition? Right now I'm hearing that uh, nothing's critical. They were taken with, uh, I guess, regular accident injuries. And I haven't been to the hospital yet. I haven't left the scene. I did speak to an officer who did go uh, to get mandatory blood off of the driver and he did see signs of impairment at the hospital. So alcohol or possibly drugs may have contributed to this accident. We won't know until we get blood results back. And in our fatal, Hispanic male or white It's a white male approximately in his early 20s from what he looks like. We haven't ID'd him yet. We're waiting on the JPN, um, the funeral home to come out. Okay, it's a little different scene working County over here is it's the only difference is we call a JPL and they don't send a body car, it usually is a funeral home. 